All right, what's up, everybody? What's up, Metalheads? Peter Gilmore here for another video right here, once again, again, on, on Metal God 669. Thank you all for watching, and as always, make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button down below on this channel, and all my other channels, which are down there. Well, not where Maria Brink is in my pants, but it is what it is. So, like the video, share the video all over the internet, tap the bell, turn on all notifications so you never miss anything, because if you do, well, fuck you. And that's all I gotta say about that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channels, this channel and all my, other, all my other four channels, which are in my pants. And that's all I gotta say about that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am pooped up the wazoo on my break and everything. Well, my, not my YouTube break, but you know what I mean. My break break. So anyway, just want to say thank you to everybody for my last video, my rant on Walter changing his name to Gunther Stark. Well, actually, his name will still be Gunther, but the WWE yesterday being, you know, being scared they abandoned the trademark for Gunther Stark. I think you know why. Because the out the the backlash they got from all the all the wrestling fans. But Walter will still be known as Gunther. Which is stupid in itself, but it is what it is. And that's um pretty much all I gotta say about that. Alright, so we got SmackDown coming up later tonight. Um Nothing really exciting except for uh, Naomi getting another t contender shot against Charlotte Flair. You know how that's going to end. With uh, Sonya Deville, the thing that'll never end. It's been, aug it's, it's been since August. November, December, January, going into February. It's almost four months this fucking storyline's been going on. Please end it at the Royal Rumble or end it at... WrestleMania, please, because it's getting pathetic. And that's all I gotta say about that. So we'll we'll see what happens with Seth Rollins and um what retaliation he might have against the Usos and Roman Reigns, our tribal chief, and we'll see what happens with that. And um some other garbage on on crap down tonight. And then after that, at 10 p.m., we have a <gasps> A live episode of Rampage! Oh my god, it's live tonight! Yeah, live episode of Rampage tonight, which should be some good shit. And speaking of good shit, uh, John Maxley will be in action tonight, um, taking on Ethan Page. Gonna destroy that, destroy that piece of crap. We got Hook in action. Send Hook! So, so the man is coming, is gonna be in action tonight against Serpentico. You know who's gonna win that, um, and then um, we have we have the return of Rapongi Vice, the not one but I believe two-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions Trent Beretta and Rocky Romero. They'll be taking on the Young Bucks in action. I'll probably be the main event. Hopefully, I mean, what else would be in the main event? Moxley being the main event, maybe. But I'd rather have the Bucks in the main event for that. But we'll see what happens with that. So that's all your wrestling action tonight. And um, we'll see what happens with that. And when we get there. <clears throat> but like I said, live SmackDown, live Rampage tonight. Some good stuff. And hopefully later on, uh, if not later tonight, probably be tomorrow that I do my SmackDown Rampage review on Facebook Live. And um, that's it. But anyway, just want to do this video here on Metal God. And I know a lot of people saying, you're not on break. How come you're doing six, seven videos, blah, blah, blah. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. But I'm going to come back, come back actually semi part time uh, at the end of February. So I'm just doing random videos, even, even if it's on my break. And I really don't give two shits. But anyway, right here on the Metal God channel on this beautiful, cold as fuck uh, Friday afternoon, 
January the 21st, I believe. I don't know what day it is, but I think it's January the 21st, 2022. Well, as always on the Metal God channel, I have to give you the bad news. Um, but, uh, oh, by the way, before I even start this video with the two, the, not one, but two deaths today. Um, I will be, my, my, um, my unbagging is coming sometime next week. Um, it's, it's ready shipped. Um, it just has to come all the way across the country from California. So, I would say by... Probably by between Tuesday and Thursday of next week, I'll have my In This Moment merch with me. I'll unbag it right here on the Metal Guy channel so you can finally get a music video, you fucking weirdo, mindless zombies. But it is what it is. So after this video, there will be another Metal God video, but that will be pertaining to an unbagging of music. So, so I will be doing a music video. You like it? Good. Don't like it? Shut up. That's all I gotta say about that. Anyway, let me get to these deaths real quickly, and then um, I'm gonna do some other things I gotta do. Gotta go to the mall later and all that shit. Get some other things for myself. But it is what it is. Anyway, so we lost two icons back to back this morning. Like one was late last night, early this morning, and the other one just happened about an hour or so ago. So, so today we lost a. Comedi uh, a legend in the comedy world. He was. He also was the host of Family Feud. A long time ago. Like in the early 90s, early 2000s. And that man was Louis Anderson. Now, Louis, like I said, he hosted uh, Family Feud when there was a lot of, you know, the kind of like the revival of Family Feud after uh, Ray Combs died. This is way before Steve Harvey and everything like that. Um, we had different different hosts and everything. You had uh, uh, the guy from Home Improvement. I forgot his name. Then he had another guy that did the dog show. I forgot his name. Um, and then Louis Anderson was on the show. He did pretty, uh, pretty not great, but pretty well for the couple seasons he was on Family Feud. And then I think after Louis Anderson, I think uh, Steve Harvey took over, I believe, after that. But anyway, he has passed away at the age of 78. Uh, no cause of death as of yet, as always, because we don't know these things. But but yeah, he, 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 was a, he was a good man, a great comedian. Uh, a lot of good movies he was, he was in. We always know him as the fat man. But, no, don't want to say anything fat about him, but he's fat. But, in any event, I don't have much to say about Louis Anderson. He was a great guy, funny. Um, I think he, he just, I think he did some things with, with, uh, with Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy back in the day. You know, various stuff. But, in, in any event, rest in peace to Louis Anderson. A great man. Uh, not so good, not not a great game show host, but it was kind of weird to see Louis Anderson, of all people, on on Family Feud. It was like, oh, Richard Karn is the other guy that was on um, Family Feud, the guy from Home Improvement. The other guy, I can't think of his name, but yeah, it could have been worse, but... But anyway, you know my I pet my uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to 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 the Louis to Louis Anderson and his family. He lost a great man, and we lost another game show host. What else is known? We already lost Alex Quebec. And um, Wink Martindale's still alive. But I just want to point that out. Wink Martindale's still alive. Bob Barker, I think, is still alive. Or he's dead. I don't even know. But I think Bob Barker is dead. I could I could be wrong, but. Yeah, so a lot of the my 80s people are going, which sucks. My childhood is just about over. So, and um, that's it. But the other one I want, I want to, how much time I got? I got a lot of time. The other one I want to quickly talk about today is the passing of a music icon, a music legend. And that man, he's fat, he well, he's, was fat, now he's not so fat. Last time I saw him. But that man is 
the loaf, meat loaf, not the food, meat loaf, has passed away this morning at the age of 74. And once again, no cause of death for that. I don't know if these things are COVID related. It could be heart attacks. It could be drugs. We won't know until the autopsy, I guess. But anyway, Meatloaf has passed away at the age of 74. A great man, great songs from the late 70s all the way through most of the 80s. Um, some early 90s. And um, had a couple of albums in the 2000s that weren't really that good. And um, most of you would know Meatloaf from Bad Out of Hell 1, Bad Out of Hell 2. And oh yeah, there was Bad Out of Hell 3, Back to the Bad, or whatever the name of it was. Well, I know Bad Out of Hell 2 was Back in the Hell. I think Bad Out of 3 was Return to the Bat or something like that. Whatever. And, um, you know, for years we were thinking Bad Out of Hell 3 would never come out. And it finally came out in the 2000s with... um. Um, I think that I think that one had one good song. I think it was called Mon "The Monster Is Loose," but I have it. But I don't have it, like you know, have it with me. But I have the album. Um, then he made a couple of other albums that really went nowhere. After that, I think the last one he did was 2016. But it is what it is. But most of the, most of the songs that you know and love from Meatloaf. You know, Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. Um, two out of three ain't bad. I do anything for love, but I won't do that. Um, I lied for you and that's the truth on the Welcome to the Neighbors album. Um, if this is the last kiss, let's make it last all night. One of my favorite songs on of, of all time from him. Um, you know, the videos. Um, he also did a video of Celine Dion. What was the name of that damn song? I can't think of the name. Name of the song that's, that I don't know if he did first and then Celine Dion. Well, I think Celine Dion did it first and then he redid it, which was way better. What was it? Um, it's all coming back to me now. I think he did. He redid that for for Bad Out of Hell three. Great. Even though that song was redone by uh, a good friend, um, Eric Carnes, you know who he is, Mr. Hungry Eyes himself, all by myself, which Celine Dion did badly. Just saying, because we all know Celine Dion sucks, and so does Justin Bieber, but I digress. So anyway, yeah, so Meatloaf has passed away. And uh, just a shock to find out that he died, because I found out on Facebook from one of my friends on Facebook that um, Meatloaf passed away. I'm like, no, not the loaf. You know, and Meatloaf's been in various uh, movies. He was in Rocky Horror Picture Show, and um, he, was, he did some other like low budget movies. He was also a wrestling fan. Which is awesome. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he was he was on, I believe, Monday Night Raw promoting something. I don't know what he was promoting. He was in the ring with Randy Orton. You know what happens when, when people are in the ring with Randy Orton. He got Gilmore cuttered. Didn't take it good, but still. So we'll probably see Meat Loaf in the, in the uh, WWE Hall of Fame for no apparent reason. Not that he did anything, just had one episode on Raw and got Gilmore coded by Randy Orton. But he was a wrestling fan, so that's that's a good thing. But still, um, you know, he had great songs. He he did a song with Cher. I forgot that I think it's called Dead Ringer, I think it was called. Him and Patty, uh what was her name? Patty Russo, I think her name is. Amazing singers on, on both albums, you know, you know, Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. I mean, if you've seen any of his videos, I mean, for uh, I Do Anything for Love, that's not Patty Russo, that's somebody else, and she is fucking hot. But Patty Russo is hot too, but I just want to say that. But the, the I don't know if it's Patty Russo herself or it's another actress that was in that, in that I, um, I Died for You and That's the Truth video, and then, uh, I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that. You know, that hot chick. 
in, the, in those two videos. I don't know if it was Patty Russo or it was Patty or somebody else, but oh lord, but I digress. But yeah, her, him, and her was like was so good together. They weren't married or anything. He was married to somebody else, and um, I think he had um, I think his, I think his um daughter's name is Pearl. Who now is going out with Scott Ian from Anthrax? I think they're married, by the way, too. So I could be wrong. Um, but that's kind of cool. So that's that. Also, uh, Meat Low was on was um partly um on uh, Ted Nugent's Free for All album. So so there you go. So during the, most of the '80s, you know, Meat Low was doing a whole bunch of things. Bad at Hell One. And then Bad at L2 came out in like late 80s, early 90s. He did a song with Cher. He he was on Ted Nugent's Free For All album. And did a Rocky Horror Picture Show. And did some other things in the 80s. But, you know, he had a lot of health problems because you know he was fat. You know, he passed out on stage one time. He almost had a heart attack one time on stage. And then um, finally he uh, he got some he got help and started to slim down a little bit look great. And then last time and last time I saw him was on Raw. Didn't look that bad, but he got a Gilmore cutter out of it. Man, sucks to be you there, Meatloaf. It's not his real name, but I think his name is Michael something. But whatever, we call him the Meatloaf. So, have you tried the Meatloaf lately? Um, pretty good. But I digress. I shouldn't make fun. But anyway, I just want to pay my respects to Meatloaf and his family and all his uh, bandmates that he had. You know, even I, I'll even say a, um, a prayer for Ted Nugent because Meatloaf was on his Free For All album. Created great songs. I mean, I can go on. And I, I already said how many songs he's had. Paradise, Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. Two out of three ain't bad. Dead Ringer with Cher. I lied for you, and that's the truth. Uh, this is the last kiss. You know, so many I can name, and I'm, I don't have the time to do that. But anyway, just want to pay my respects to Louis Anderson and the Loaf, the Meat Loaf. And um, that's all I got to say about that. So I do have, thankfully, I did this beforehand. So as I always do on my my rest in peace videos, I like to do a ceremonial toast. For the faithful departed. And this is tribute videos, you motherfuckers. So, in tribute to Meatloaf and to Louis Anderson. Cheers, my friends. Rest in peace in that big concert hall in the sky. Or whatever it is now. But, cheers to you. Alright. That's all I gotta say about that. So, let me your thoughts and prayers. And um, whatever you gotta say about Meatloaf. And Louis Anderson, do you have any memories? Put it down in the, the comments section. Don't forget to smash and smash and bash that that subscribe button down below. Smash and bash that that stinking bell that barely works. But smash it anyway and turn on all notifications. Smash that like button to death. And do what you gotta do. And that's all I gotta say about that. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day. I'm gonna get back to um, what I gotta do. And... You know what that is. And um, that's it. I'm going to enjoy my weekend and then um, get back to um, the grind back on Monday. And that's all I got to say about that. But have a great weekend, everybody. Hopefully, I'll be back later with um, on Facebook Live doing my AEW Dynamite review. Dynamite got over 1 million views, 1.03 million views. They beat Raw in the demo. So I don't even know what Raw got. I don't even care. I know NXT got 578,000 views. Pfft. Horrible. Basically, that show is done. That show is done. NXT is done. It's dead. It's dead. Just, you shouldn't even call it NXT no more. Got nobody there. Everybody's leaving. Tommaso Ciampa's going, supposedly going to the main roster. You know where he's going to be going in about six months. They're going to misuse him. Just like they're going to be misusing Walter. This company is dead. It is dead. I don't care if Vince McMahon dies. It'll still be dead with Nick Conman 
and Bruce Pitcher and John Laurinaitis in, in charge. The WWE has finally died. The Titanic has sunk. Finally. And from the ashes of WCW and ECW is AEW right now. And they're doing some pretty good cowboy shit, if you know what I mean. And that's all I got to say about that. I don't, and like I said, uh, AEW last night, 1.03 million views. Not bad. Not bad. And we'll see what Rampage does tonight live from 10 to 11. Not going to expect much, but we'll see what happens with that. So, some good matches tonight on on Rampage. We also got good matches coming up on SmackDown. Not really great matches, but... I mean, we're a week away from the Royal Stumble. I mean, uh, the Royal Fumble. And we, we don't have that many names for the Royal Rumble announced. I think we're, I think we're like... I mean, they, there's like eight or nine women... That have not been announced for the Royal Rumble as of yet. But I think we know that Oscar is going to be coming back. Lacey Evans probably be coming back. Alexa Bliss most likely will be coming back on Raw. She'll probably announce it on Raw. But, but you know she'll be there. Um, Zaya Lee will probably be announced. Um, I think Raquel Gonzalez will be, is announced or will be announced. Maybe a couple others from NXT. Maybe EO. Maybe Toxic Attraction. Maybe Kaylee Ray. I would love Kaylee Ray in it. I would love even Electra Lopez in the goddamn thing. Rather have Ele- I'd rather have Electra Lopez on my lap, but that's just not a story for another time. But in any event, should be some good wrestling. Hopefully find out some more stuff for the Royal Rumble. Uh, that's next Saturday. And nobody gives two fucks about. And then three weeks, two or three weeks after that is, well... I guess Super Showdown, they haven't really announced what name it is, in Saudi Arabia at the the new Jeddah Dome, where the Elimination Chamber match is going to be at, and nobody cares about that. So, it is what it is. Uh, we had the 50th anniversary of New Japan, um, it was yesterday or a couple of days ago, it was pretty good, didn't watch all of it, but still, still. Happy, happy uh, anniversary to New Japan. Because Japan, number one, forever. I was going to say about that. All right, so leave me your thoughts and opinions down below about Louis Anderson and Meatloaf. And if you want to talk some wrestling, you can always put that down in the description box, in the, uh, in the belch box, no, in the comments box as well. Don't forget to smash that that bell, turn on all notifications so you never miss anything, and hit that like button, and if you hit the dislike button, well, you can go piss off, and that's all I gotta say about that, so, that's all I gotta say about that, thank you all for watching, don't, don't forget, um, my, my official return to YouTube will be back at the end of February, early March, but if things come up like a death video, somebody dies, I will be here to give you something, or if something really Bizarre happens in the world of wrestling, like the Walter situation. Thank you for three, or getting close to 400 views on that in a span of almost two, three days. Better than you chose get with your inflated views. And um, that's that. So that's all I got to say about that. Thank you for that. And um, continue to, to watch that video. Share it with your friends all over the internet. And watch this video as well and my future videos coming up. But that's all I got to say about it. So I'm going to go finish my drink. And I'm going to go finish some other business I got to attend to. And then enjoy the rest of my day. And get ready for the 49ers football tomorrow. Because I'm going to get drunk tomorrow. No, I'm not going to get drunk. But I will be at the bar probably. Or I'll be somewhere watching the game. And um, hopefully the Niners win in, in frozen Green Bay. Frozen Lumbo Field in Green Bay. Wisconsin! Me- no, I'm not going to do Mr. Kennedy. Sorry. Not, 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 not today. If the Niners win, I will do something regarding Mr. Anderson. Anderson. But that will be tomorrow night if the, if the Niners win, which I think they will. So, but we'll see what happens with that. All right. I'm out of here. Good night. Every- uh, well, not good night. Good afternoon, everybody. Have a great afternoon. I'll see you guys <laughs> later. Fuck you. And if you don't like that, well, fuck you, man. I'll see you later. I love you all.